Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be ranking the best Team Diamond 2 players to do the solos for. Why did I say that? Because if you guys remember, if you watched this morning video, and if you didn't, I highly recommend you go check it out. You are able to get a free top set piece of any of these players. So that pretty much means you can get the set done for rather, uh, let's call it inexpensive, right? Cheaper than what it would have been. So making sure that you pick the right set to do is important. Because I'm pretty sure the player's nat. So let's say you do the line, you do the lines play. You pick the lines play just because, right? And then you don't like the lines top player. I mean, you can always sell them, but it's important to pick the one you want so you can actually have incentive to do the set and go ahead and actually get uh, the you know the top player you want. Or if you don't want to go that route, maybe you got to focus on the 96 overalls and pick the best one that's could start in your team, right? But besides the point, guys, I'm excited to go through this. I have my rankings here. I have a total of, I believe, I have six players here that I want to go into. Uh, there's some reasoning for a few of them, so just stay tuned. Now, if you guys do need coins for anything to finish these sets or whatever else, head on over to Mutt Coin Bank down below. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Super cheap coins, guys. Take advantage. Click the link. Second, smash the like button. Always subscribe and turn that noti bell. Now, let's head on over to the uh, sets real quick so I can show you guys some stuff that I'm referring to. So, if you go over to Team Affinity, which is where this is under, go to the right to Team Diamonds and Series 5. This is it. So, if you guys look, these sets have a top set piece, right? And that is going to be their 96 overall uh, Team of the Year player. And then if you go on to here, it's 1994, right? So, uh, it says you get the top one, right? So, you're supposed to get this top player, which is going to be for the Bengals Team of the Year. Here, it's going to be Stefan Diggs. Lorenzo Niels is going to be Joey Bosa, and so on and so forth. I assume you guys get the point at this point, right? So you're going to get, so you could either A, just keep the player and have your team of the year player, or you can go ahead and get this set done, right? So by getting the team of the year player, every player beyond that becomes significantly cheaper, right? 60K, 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 and then, you know, these are all 80s. It doesn't really matter at that point. You can snipe some. Some values probably went up, but the team of the year players are going to be expensive, especially because of these sets, right? So, make sure you guys are getting your solos done. It's going to be in the Team Affinity again, the Team Diamonds 2, which is the Series 5 Team Diamonds. Make sure to go play through them. When you finish 30, all 32 games, I believe you will get the player that we are speaking about. Now, let's get into ranking them. You guys should have already learned all this at this point from the stream, from some morning videos. But yeah, let's get into the Team Diamonds, uh, ranking them. So, my number 6 guy, guys, this is a circumstantial guy. That's why I threw, instead of a top 5, I threw a top 6 in there. Because this guy's going to be circumstantial. In the case that you do not have, right... A quarterback, which is important. Because if you have a quarterback, like you have a, you know, Deshaun Watson, any of these newer quarterbacks right now, you don't need to focus on this. But the thing is, right, if you don't have a quarterback, Johnny Unitas is actually a super good quarterback. Now, he's right over here, and he's not, first of all, he's a field general, right? One of the best archetypes you're going to want in a quarterback. 87 speed, 97 throw power, 94 throw short, 95 throw medium, 97 deep accuracy, 99 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, and 95 play action. So you're going to be getting a very well-rounded all-threshold quarter quarterback. So powered up and chemed up, guys. He will have 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, 98 throw deep, 90 speed, 99 throw power. So all around right there, he can make any throw on the field. He has max throw power, and he has 90 speed, which is right there with Dak Prescott and a few of the other faster guys, right? And he's a field general. You cannot go wrong with Johnny Unitas if you don't have a quarterback. Now, if you don't like having a quarterback or you, you, know, you have your own already, you can disregard that. But I'm just saying I will give him a look. Next on the list is going to be Braylon Edwards, number five. I really like Braylon Edwards for a few reasons. First off, six foot three, gives him the height advantage. Two fourteen pounds, gives him a little bit of a box out advantage. Next, he will get ninety nine speed, powered up and chemmed up. All right, there you go, automatically ninety nine speed, six foot three receiver. We're not, we're not discounting that. He will have ninety nine jumping, ninety nine jumping, ninety nine speed, and six foot three. Sign me up, right? Catching ninety three, catching traffic will be, I believe, in ninety nine. Spec catch will be in ninety eight. His short running will be a 99, his medium route running will be a 99, and his deep route running will be 99. So he'll be an all 99 route running receiver at 6'3 with 99 speed. And it gets even better, guys. He gets 90 change of direction, 92 truck. He will have a 95 stiff arm. He'll have above 90 juke. He'll have above 93 break tackle, guys. He's probably the best wide receiver in the game, to be quite honest with you guys. He is what Chase Claypool could have been if they gave him power, right? He actually even better. He's a better version of what Chase Claypool could have been. But yeah. Next guy is Michael Turner. Now, Michael Turner is only the best bat, only in this consideration if you're playing a next gen. If you're playing a next gen, guys, he's going to probably be the best back because, you know, on next gen, because of the weight and everything and the strength, he's able to fall forward a lot on next gen, which is going to make him a really hard to tackle back. He's 244 pounds and he gets 99 speed. So, 99 speed, 244 pound back will be the best back on next gen. If you play current gen like I do, 
you may not notice it right but point is guys real quick he's gonna have 99 trucking 99 brake tackle above 90 change of direction uh 99 speed 96 excel i don't think he's the best back in this program unless you're playing next gen right simple as that now the guy that i really like and i think he could have been honestly even a little bit higher on my list eric berry is a goon guys he's six feet tall let's start here. He's a hybrid he's a hybrid safety right power to the camera people have a 99 speed check right 98 excel great 93 tackle great you'll have 99 play rec amazing 96 pursuit amazing 99 man coverage amazing 99 zone coverage amazing and 96 hit power so he'll be one of the top hitting one of the best coverage fastest uh quickest decent height safeties in the game combined with the fact that he gets that like that 99 jumping too like he gets 99 jumping at safety with that speed and decent height that's not bad he gets 88 juke move he gets a 76 spec catch which is really good as well 82 actual catching guys this card all around complete monster he's a complete monster 85 press which isn't the greatest but again how often are you really pressing your uh, strong safety next guys this guy i really like as well darius hayward bay because at this point in the year guys when you see a name that has top end speed like you see a henry rose you see these guys if they're getting 98 overalls you know they're gonna be crazy right because they're getting their speed and they're gonna get good stats right and that's what hayward bay is he has one of the uh top 40 yard dash times of all time i believe he gets 99 speed 98 jumping he will get 99 catching traffic. He will get 99 medium route running, 99 deep route running, and 98 short running. He'll be one of the best route runners. He's six foot two with 99 speed. And then after the catch, he gets a crazy good juke, 95 juke, 94 change of direction, powered up and chemed up. Decent break tackle, guys. They were, Darius Hayward Bay is an insane wide receiver. If you get him and Braylon Edwards on the same team, guys, you have two of the top wide receivers in the game, right? You have double 99 speeds. One's going to be a like a trucking 99 speed wide receiver. One's going to be a more elusive version of him. And they're both decently tall, six foot two, six foot three, right? You cannot go wrong with either one of these guys. And they both have great route running, great catching. This team diamond promo went well above and beyond what they should have done, honestly. I really like it. And then Dre Archer coming in as the number one player on my personal list here. Best back in the game. If you're playing current gen, best back in the game. On next gen, he's definitely up there still. Uh, Dre Archer, what's the deal with him? He's going to have 99 speed. Check, right? 99 Excel, crazy. 99 agility, crazy. He will have 98 change of direction, possibly 99. And a 98 break tackle, possibly 99. He might be 99 all stats that matter. Speed, excel, agility, change of direction, break tackle, right? But it gets better. He also has 80 catching. So now they made him like, the reason Edger and James had an edge over Herschel Walker was because of that catching, right? In my opinion. Now you're getting guys who are quicker, faster, more elusive, better change of direction, everything. And they can catch equally. Dre Archer takes the cake as the best back in Madden 21, in my opinion. Juke move, 99. Like that's crazy. Spin move, probably 99 as well. Ball carry vision, 98. Change of direction, be 99, 98. Break tackle is going to be 99 probably, guys. This card's insane. Now, if we go to the only thing that I would like, short route running will be 79, which I wish would have been one higher, but not bad. Deep route running, 74. Now, this may not sound good, but backs run decent run, uh, routes regardless, right? Like, you do an angle, they run them fine. When they actually have good route running, like an 80 route running or 78, like, that goes from running like a running back to, like, a wide receiver. Not like that cut they do. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. But, guys, about it. Those are my top six players. Let me know what you think down below. Who is your favorite guy overall from this promo? Let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. BD Coins, head over to my coin bank. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off. Subscribe. Turn the nutty bell. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.